Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. I'm Amy or you can call me Amisa or you can call me Madam Amy. In this video, I'm going to talk about things that you can and cannot do during Muat speaking test. Number one, things that you can do during Muat speaking test. Once you get the question, you are going to be given one minute to read the question or to be more accurate the situation read the situation both task a for individual presentation and task b for the group discussion if you don't understand any word or you don't understand what your situation is or the question is or what you are required to do or to be more specific what your task is you can ask the examiner to explain to you choose one of the examiners and ask that particular examiner to explain to you what your task is if you don't understand any word or situation you cannot ask the candidate sitting next to you never do that you can ask the examiner but not anybody else the next thing that you can do is when the other candidates are presenting you can jot down their points and use those points during task B group discussion another thing that you shouldn't do during individual presentation is to keep on working on your points only while waiting for your turn. You should listen to the others attentively and jot down their points. Don't be selfish. This is what you should do during group discussion. You can volunteer to start and then start giving your opinion. If you are stuck, you can ask the other candidates whether they agree or disagree with your point that is the first thing that you should do during group discussion be brave enough to volunteer to start all right now please don't do this during group discussion which is to be quiet and let the others speak and hoping that the other candidate might ask you about your opinion or hoping that the examiners will call you out to give your opinion don't do that don't be a passive candidate please be brave enough to interrupt by saying excuse me i'm sorry may i interrupt and then tell that particular candidate whether you agree or disagree with his or her point i hope my tips are very useful to all of you i wish all of you all the best in your muet speaking test till we meet again in my next video inshallah bye